So if you're buying a property, you want to get actual solid appreciation in that property that's more than what the general norm is in the market because generally speaking all property appreciates it's a good hedge against inflation so if inflation is at two percent three percent five percent ideally you should be investing in a property which is not just appreciating at two percent three percent five percent your property should be appreciating hopefully at ten percent okay i want to explain why good capital appreciation is something you should be aiming for okay now not everybody gets that but why you should be aiming for it okay show real first Hey guys, welcome back. So real capital appreciation should beat the market. What do I mean by that, okay? Let's take an example, okay? And in this example, I'm going to highlight for you why property has been going up for the last 40, 50 years. Cash, here's the thing, right? And I'll, 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 I'll explain this to you, okay? House prices have been going up. Price, okay? Cash price, has been coming down, right? So the value of cash is coming down and the value of houses is going up. Why? And what do I mean by this? Let's assume that today you buy a property for 100 dirhams, okay? Let's just for sake of clarity, just say 100, okay? And you could go into the market today with that 100, you could buy, with that 100, you could buy 100 into 100 loaves of bread okay so you could buy a hundred loaves of bread now what happens if in two years time in two years time so let's say after two years you go back into the market with a hundred but you can only buy 95 pieces of bread. What essentially has happened is your 100, your 100 dirhams that could get you 100 pieces of bread, now that 100 gets you 95 dirhams worth of bread, it actually means that value of money has gone down by 5% or inflation has gone up by 5%, which means if inflation went up by 5%, and your property that you bought at 100 is now 105. Guess what? If you sell this property for 105, you would be able to go to the market and get 100 loaves of bread, okay? Which is good because at least your value, at least your cash did not go down, right? Because your house went up 5% in value. So now you can still go and buy 100 loaves of bread. But the deal is, if you can only get five loaves of bread, what's the point of doing all of this drama, investing, putting your money in a house? Well, you could still say, hey, I'm happy. Alhamdulillah, thank God, at least my money is still the same value and it's cool and it's cool but when we're investing, we're trying to invest, you're investing, you're trying to meet certain basic criteria, and one of those criteria could be to beat the market in a certain way. If you're buying to live in an investment property, that's fine, right? You love the property, you love the area, you like it, you like, you, your kids like it, you enjoy it, who cares, right? But if you want to actually make more money, then your property should go from 100 to 115. So five for the inflation, 10% for the actual work that you did or I did for you. And if you don't know how to get 10%, look, come and talk to us. We'll actually help you. There is a link below. Work with an expert advisory team to guide you through the process. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. Agree, disagree, or you want to just add some more love, 
hit us up in the comment section. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007 I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.